All right, here's the crown molding finished. Uh, there's my scarf joint that I put some uh, wood filler on, so you won't see it once I sand that. And there it is all the way around the kitchen. And that CEA glue that I used, the CEA glue was not holding on this pine wood for some reason. When I lifted it up, the thing would just separate. It was too brittle. So I ended up just, for on this side, putting up the piece, stopping here. Scarf joint, 22.5 degrees. And then I used just the regular wood glue type bond. This seems to work okay. And uh, you put it on the end, and you can see it came out pretty good. Okay. So now all I got to do is put some filler in there. You can use the Drydex uh, wood filler or speckling. And you sand it, and then fill it, and then sand it, and then prime it and paint it. And you won't see those lines. I'll show you when I'm done. The end result. Once I uh, spackle this, all the holes, nail holes and stuff. Alright, what's the sanding block? 80 grit. It's a little bit high on this side, so I went, and went over it a little bit. Still a little bit of an edge here. a little bit right here catching my finger a little bit more all right so that's nice and smooth there okay now I'm gonna put some uh, some drydex back on there um, I got two different kinds I got plastic wood this stuff works good too only problem is this takes like uh, I think it said two to five hours to dry. And I got some of this. They both have dry decks indicators. I bought this from the store and it was already, it wasn't very pink. Well, a little bit. And this one, I've had it for six months. It's already turning brown. So that's started to hard up on me already. Stuff don't last too long. But you can see that's the color of the the plastic wood and this stuff goes on pink and dries white so I think I'm going to use this one on this side and see which one's better so I got a little bit of a lip on the bottom I don't want to I'm not going to be repainting anytime soon so if you use your block and you have your sandpaper where this foam pad is at the top what you can do is turn it this way like that and have the foam pad down, oh, I'm sorry, this way, foam pad towards the wall like that. And that'll keep you from scratching your paint. See that? It's just foam. But yet I still have a corner here to sand this top edge. And that way, you won't see the seam line here where it beat butts up and it was off by like an eighth of an inch. Okay, so it's nice and sanded smooth. And I'll cock right here at the bottom so you won't even see the little gap there. Yeah, and it's looking good. Same thing over here. You got a little gap here. Flip that sponge up to the top. Get that line perfect. So I started filling in my nail holes with my thumb and it kind of makes a mess. You can see over here the, the globs of, you know, of the spackle that I put with my finger. And you know, the fingers, it works okay, but I decided to use a bondle spreader. And what I did is I cut off just a little end piece right here. So 
And this is good for crown molding because this thing's really bendy. It bends, flexes. So, like for instance in here, where it's curved, I can get my spackle, okay? Get a little bit, and you don't need a lot, just a little dab like that. And you can get in here and just push it in. And it will go in with the curve. You can't do that with a sharp knife. You can do it with your finger, but again, like I said, um, it makes a mess. Like there's no way I can smooth it out too good with my finger. This just seems to work a lot better. Okay. Let's grab a little bit more. Kind of like body work on a car, putting on bondo or something. Similar work. And this way you can you can wipe off the excess with this a lot better than what my finger could have done. So it's a lot smoother there, you see. And I'm gonna go and shove some in here in the crack. Because if I use caulking, it's gonna shrink and this stuff doesn't shrink as much or at all, according to the company. And this seems to work good to get it in there as well. And down here, I'll use my finger at the bottom. Yeah, but bottle spreader seems to work really good. <clears throat> All right, just finished caulking. And the way I do it is I like to caulk inside the bottom and the top. And right after I lay the caulking, take my pinky, the bottom one, and I run my finger. And I'll take my index for the top. And then I'll take a rag that you can wash over and over and I'll just wipe the excess off of the wall. And the reason why I'm doing it like this is because I don't want to paint these walls. The walls are pretty decent. The paint's pretty decent on it. Uh, so I want to keep this for a little bit before I paint it in the future. And this way I just don't have a lot of caulking goop all over the place and it comes out pretty clean. Okay, so that's all done. And it looks a lot better than what it was, that chair railing that was up here. And there's my seam. Sanded it with uh, 320. Put some wood filler in there. I put some spackle after. In a couple spots here after I sanded it I was still a little bit off and uh, I don't know if you guys know but spackle you can use this rag too and it'll, it'll pretty much you don't even have to sand it you can just wipe it over a few times and it'll start smoothing out all right a second ago I just showed you that um, that joint over here that I did and that side had plastic wood X, all-purpose wood filler with dry decks, dry time indicator. Uh, that's what I had over there. It, it, this one goes, it, it, it says natural, but it's more of a you know, brownish color. And on this side, I tried this one. It's a dry deck spackling. And I seem to think this one came out a little nicer than the other side. Uh, for one, it's not all brown, you know, and this is primed pine, so... Uh, it's a little bit, you know, it matches a little better than that darker stuff. And it's pretty smooth. So I'm going to go and prime this side and prime the other side and we'll see what they look like with some uh, Kills Latex Primer. Alright, here's the Plastic Wood X side with uh, one coat of Primer, kills primer, and I can say it's it's 
Yeah, it looks okay. Still a little bit of, you know, it looks like it needs to be filled a little bit more on top, just a hair. And then we'll go to this other side and check out the dried egg spackling side. I think this side looks better. And it might have something to do with the seam. This one might have butted up better than the other side, but it just seems like it covers better and it's easier to prime over that too than the other stuff. All right, so now all I gotta do is 320, clean up all the nail holes with some 320 on a little sponge. There's a real soft sponge here that I'm using, flexible. So 320, just sand those, and then you could also, you don't have to primer it, but I'm gonna primer those spots with the, with the kills, and then I'll be painting it all white, and then I'll be done. Definitely looks a lot better with crown molding.